Hey second graders, it's Mrs. Compton and we're gonna do a little more subtraction today. Are you guys ready? Hmm. Number talks happen where? In your heads. All right, we're gonna do a number talk and remember, in your mind, you might be imagining familiar tools, right? So you're familiar with these, um, you're familiar with this, it's a 120 chart, right? We used these a lot last year. If you don't have one this year, make sure you print one. Have your parents print one for you. Okay, so let's do this. My first question is 20 minus 15. I want everyone to hit pause right now so that you can solve with a good strategy. All right, hit pause. Okay, did you unpause? What is 20 minus 15? On the count of three, I want you all to tell me. Ready? One, two, three, tell me. What did you say? Was it 10? Did you say 10? Can't be 10. Because maybe you imagine your fingers and your toes. And you said, I know I have 20 fingers and toes all together. And if you took off 15, well, don't actually take off 15. Kids, don't be serious. Too serious. All right. And then you took off 15. Only five would be left. So here's another way of thinking about it. Who's a Lakers fan out there? Raise your hand if you love the Lakers. Got my Lakers scholars here. Oh, yeah. All right, here's 20, right? I have two 10 rods. And let's say I want to take off 15. Well, I would take off one entire 10. And then I would take off five more. And I would be left with five. Let's write that down, what we just did with those moves. 20 minus 10. I did that first, right? I took off an entire 10 first. So 20 minus 10, and then I still had a 10 rod, and then I took off, so I had this, I took off that 10, I had 10 left, right? That's that, whoop, that 10, and then I still had to take off the five more. So that would be the 10 minus the five more, and that equals five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so all together I took off 15 and I ended with five. Now let's check it out on a 120 chart. So here we are. If I start at 20 and I take off 15, how would you move on this 120 chart? I want you to hit pause and I want you to think about some different ways you might move on the 120 chart. All right, hit pause. All right, we already know what the answer is, right? We already know the answer is five. So my question was, how would we move on the 120 chart? Would you hop back a row of 10 and then go one, two, three, four, five more back? Maybe you would do that. So minus 10, minus five, or let's see, I'm gonna erase real quick. Maybe you would do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh-oh, kids make this mistake a lot and then they say the answer's four. What was my mistake that I just made? I want you to think about that. Because right now my answer is showing four. What mistake did I make? My mistake was I didn't take off this one too. You have to take off that one. Otherwise, it's just hanging out right there. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, so starting at 20, we have to take off how many? 15. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Aha, now we have those five left, right? So it's really important when we're subtracting on the number line, we have to actually take that one off too. All right, so kids, let's check out our story problem. This one's one of my favorite treats to eat. I hope I get a few, uh, deliveries of these on Halloween. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a 
hankering for M&Ms. That's what my mom always says. <laughs> she loves them too. So M&Ms, Sophia had hmm M&Ms. She gave her friend Allison hmm M&Ms. All right, so Sophia had some M&Ms. Then she's going to give some to her friend Allison. How many M&Ms does Sophia have now? Okay, so we have to think about this. If Sophia had some M&Ms, okay, there they are, and then she gives some to her friend Allison, will she have more or less than what she started with? Yeah, you're right. It's going to be less, right? Okay, let's check out our number sets. Here we go. We have 20 and 11, 20 and 9, 50 and 28, 129. Mm, so maybe you noticed every single one of these is a multiple of 10. So you would say them if you count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 20, 50, 100. All right, so let's choose our just right number set. I think I'm gonna choose this one, 20 and nine. And of course, now I have to reread it with my number sets in there. Sophia had 20 M&Ms, okay. And she gave, um, she gave her friend Allison nine M&Ms. Okay, so how many M&Ms does Sophia have now? We have to figure out what's left. All right, kids, it's your turn. Grab your tools, grab your 100 chart, grab your supplies in your brain and your whatever else you need. All right, see you next time. Bye, guys.